Today, I would like to explain several of Eden Hazard's amazing skills. In this video, I will cover six steps. By watching, you can master these skills and become like Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard is already a retired player, but during his time at Chelsea, he demonstrated an overwhelming difference from other players. This is statistically proven when it comes to rounding a defender with great regularity every 14.1 minutes and overall success rate 80.4%. The Chelsea star had the best blend in the business. There is no doubt that he was the number one dribbler in the Premier League. However, due to rapid weight gain and resulting injuries, his dribbling skills were not as visible in La Liga. Today, we will explore why he was such a dominant dribbler when he played for Chelsea in the Premier League. In the previous video, I explained several steps to dribble like Kaoru Maitoma. There are many common dribbling skills required to become a pro. So if you haven't watched the previous video yet, you should check it out and learn some great techniques. Thank you for all the likes and channel subscriptions on the previous video. On this channel, we aim to share high-level knowledge essential for improving your soccer skills. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Let's get started. Step 1. Position your body between the ball and the defender. This is Hazard's most distinctive feature. Despite his small stature, he doesn't lose out to larger defenders. The reason is not only his strong core and body balance, but also because he constantly keeps his body between the defender and the ball. He uses his legs to block the defender and protect the ball. Hazard himself has said, Neymar, Neymar is doing a lot of tricks. Me, I'm trying to do it with my body, you know? Yeah. All the time I try to put my body, you know, between the ball and the players, the ball and the players. Before the defender can stick a foot out to take the ball, he blocks it with his foot, preventing the defender from getting in front. If the defender overcommits, he can often draw a foul. Additionally, using his arms to create distance between the ball and the defender is also crucial. Depending on the timing, this can be very effective. When the defender is not too close to the ball, he uses his arms. When the defender is within reach of the ball, Hazard uses his body or arms at the moment the defender tries to take the ball, always positioning himself in front. Many people focus on Hazard's ball control, but to dribble like him, it is more important to practice using your body to block the defender before focusing on ball control. Low center of gravity. Additionally, Hazard's low center of gravity is key to his stable and smooth dribbling. Simply mastering the skill of positioning your body between the ball and the defender is not enough to dribble like Hazard. A high center of gravity makes you unstable and increases the risk of losing the ball if tackled cleanly. In contrast, a low center of gravity provides stability. This is why he can drive forward without being knocked over. While it's not something that can be easily mimicked, it's important to recognize the need for strength as well. To dribble stably with a low center of gravity, focus on moving using your hips. Hazard has well-developed glutes because he primarily uses these muscles, which are some of the largest in the body and support his dribbling movements. Step two, understand the direction and force of pressure and face forward. Have you ever seen Hazard choose to make a back pass? It's rare. When there's no space and it's hard to turn forward in one move, he uses a flick to receive the ball again while facing forward. Even if he touches the ball facing backward, he uses it as bait, drawing the defender in and then turning forward. He always tries to play facing forward, which is why he creates more chances than other players. Step three touch the ball immediately after turning. Hazard touches the ball immediately after turning and places it in an easy to control position. For most players, right after turning, their bodies are in an unstable position, making it easier for defenders to tackle them. However, because Hazard touches the ball immediately after turning, he is difficult to catch. Additionally, his first touch places the ball in a position that allows for an easy second touch, which helps him maintain balance and stay stable at all times. This ball control ability works synergistically with his body control skills. Step 4. Cutting in towards the negative direction. When Hazard cuts in, 
he often takes the ball in a negative direction, moving it away from the defender. The reason is that this creates space, opening up a shooting opportunity. Additionally, because the defender is on alert, they are more likely to fall for a shot find. When the defender steps forward to block, their balance is compromised, and Hazard uses this opportunity to further evade them with a shot find. Step 5. Proficient with his left-footed shot. Although his dominant foot is his right, Hazard can also finish with his left foot. Being able to finish with both feet is highly effective for a dribbler. This allows him to shoot effectively whether he breaks through on the right or the left. As a result, he scores many goals with finishes from both feet. For a dribbler, being able to finish with both feet creates a synergistic effect. Step 6. Penalty Kick Hazard is also a master at taking penalties. He approaches with a fast run-up until he plants his right foot, but then slows down after planting. This slowdown causes the goalkeeper to react early, allowing him to kick the ball into the open space. He doesn't decide the direction of his shot until the last moment, and he slowly swings his right foot to push the ball into the net, watching the goalkeeper's movement until the very end. As you all know, Robert Lewandowski also uses the same technique. Unlike Hazard, Lewandowski looks at the goalkeeper and then looks back at the ball. By doing this, he increases his accuracy even more. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and leave a comment about the player you'd like me to cover next. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.